Well, even though Tecate, Mexico is adjacent to the U.S. border, it's not along the tourist route. But don't let that stop you. All right. Once a month, the Pacific Southwest Railway Museum offers a train excursion that will take you on a very, very fun day trip. Fox 6's Sherry Palmieri was on board. Hang on to your tickets. I'll get them on the train. Hop aboard this vintage train that you catch in Campo. It was actually used by uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1936 when he was running for president. On this vestibule, he, he gave uh, campaign speeches on his whistle stop tours around the country. Okay, tickets please. For 40 bucks, it will take you to Takati for the afternoon. It's, it's a little rocky and it's a little old and that's kind of quaint and, and interesting. It's relaxing. Just sit back and enjoy the views instead of fighting with the traffic. It's the only passenger train that crosses the Mexican border. We're gonna go into a tunnel, and then when we get through that tunnel, we'll be in Mexico. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to arrive to Tecate, one of the most authentic Mexican towns in all of Baja. You'll have three and a half hours to explore the town on your own. Tecate is a nice little town. It's really pleasant, peaceful people are always real nice. Don't be surprised if you're greeted by the luscious scent of fresh bread that sometimes emanates the entire town. And don't be fooled either. What you smell is beer in the making at the Takati Brewery, located right next to the train station. We have six breweries among Mexico, and this is a brewery that has all the, most of the exportation that goes to the U.S. You can take a free one-hour tour and learn about the history of the brewery. This is Baja's first brew kettle. It was made in 1947, and since then, the factory has added five more. But unlike this one, which is made of copper, the rest are made of stainless steel. Most of the people keep asking, what was first, the beer or the city? And it was the city first. During your tour of this state-of-the-art factory, you'll see the entire beer-making process, which can be fascinating. Take this machine, for instance. It fills 1,600 cans per minute. It happens so fast, you can barely see it. All of our recipes are secrets, yeah. So you won't even share with us? No, no, of course not. <laughs> but we can give you a lot of beer. And for many visitors, that's their favorite part of the tour, the taste test where you can sample the different varieties of beer made at the factory. Well, that one tastes good. <laughs> of course, all that drinking is likely to work up your appetite, so head into town for some great Mexican fare. You just go eat, go eat tacos, go to restaurants. We've got all kinds of history here. When you arrive back to Campo, stop by the Pacific Southwest Railway Museum. It's included in your fare. There are over 80 major pieces of railroad equipment, including steam and diesel locomotives, passenger cars, freight cars, cabooses, and even a railroad post office car. This is basically a full-fledged post office back in those days. They have slots on the outside you can walk up to it drop your mail into, talk to the people here by stamps, whatever you needed. You're allowed to explore the restored trains, and if you track down a volunteer, they'll provide you with a wealth of interesting information about them. So let me know where you want to send me day tripping next. Log on to fox6.com and hit Fox in the morning. In Campo. Sherry Palmieri, Fox 6 News. Oh, I love Man, her. Man, I love her to death, and she keeps Paul showing Mary. us these great places around she here. She is awesome. That's great. That, that's a, what a bargain that is for the whole family. I know. Although, you know, I don't necessarily want to take the kids to the brewery and have them knock a few back, but we'll but find some. But you're fine with that. Yeah, while they're out shopping, I might have to go by there and just see how it's done. <laughs> right.